Hi everybody, my name is Paolo Gai from Evidence and in this short video I will show you a local hardware in the loop for testing embedded systems. What is the main idea of this project? We want to guarantee that our software always works correctly. But in order to run it, we need to test it. So we build a set of regression tests. And those regression tests are typically run on a target. But the application is a small embedded application composed by device drivers, peripherals, and interaction with the environment. So we built a configurable hardware in the loop system to test our application, and we wanted to make it cheap and modular, so we used the Raspberry Pi together with a few wires and connectors. The system is composed by a regression test servers under Jenkins, a switch that it connects through Ethernet, the regression test server, to two Raspberry Pis. The two Raspberry Pis are then connected using GPIOs and relays to the device under test. The two Raspberry Pi are running a server connected to Ethernet. The peripherals which are connected currently to the Raspberry Pis are relays, ADC, DAC, I2C, SPI, UART, GPIOs, and whatever. And then there is a connector panel, and the idea is that it must be easy to change the device under test by just connecting wires to the connector panel. The software configuration is as follows. A hardware in the loop server is running on each Raspberry Pi to perform the actions and check results. A test application is running on the device under test to manage functionalities, like in the example that we are going to see in the video, just a LED blinking. And then there is a client application which is communicating through Word to the test application and via Ethernet to the hardware in the loop server. How does the test work? The system starts, the other in the loop starts, and it configures the system. We power on the device under test, then we request the functionality, in this case would be a LED blinking at different frequencies. We check the functionality by checking the PWM parameters which are in output to the LEDs, and then we output a report which will be stored in the Jenkins regression server. We are now looking at the real system under test. We can now see the system under test, which is this embedded board here. And uh, we, we start with the power supplies that are giving the power to the two Raspberry Pis. The two Raspberry Pis are connected through Ethernet, through a switch, so they can communicate together. Then you have the Raspberry Pi, which has internally a DAC interface, a DAC skin, which is actually connected to the connectors here. You have also a set of uh, GPIOs connected to relays, and uh, you can see here there is a USB port, which is connected to the in-circuit debugger of the board. You also have a reset connector, which is used to reset the board when you run the test. Uh, as you can see here, you have a number of interfaces which are connected to the Raspberry Pi, which can be used to control and read the data in the system. For example, you have SPI, I2C, UART, you have the relays, ADC, DAC, and so on. Finally, we are going to run now the example. The example is basically the minimal example we can show in this kind of system, which is a blinking LED. So we are now running the test, and as you can see, we are now running the test, and you can see that the machine is blinking at different frequencies, the board is powering on and off, and so we are, in this case, programming the board with different uh, programs. The board is programmed, and afterwards it's, uh, uh, it, it, it runs the, the application, and the output of the application is considered not only using the output on the serial line, but also on the, uh, by reading the outputs that are connected to the external connector to the Raspberry Pi. Thank you for listening. If you have any question, please send us a mail at info at Bye bye.